Our weed of the week is crabgrass. Uh, if you have a lawn, this could be the, the bane of your existence. This is the worst thing that could happen all summer is this crabgrass takes over in your yard. Now it looks terrible. Now even when the lawn isn't growing actively when it gets hot, the crabgrass is out there and you've got to mow it twice a week to keep it looking decent. I really don't like crabgrass, Brian. Uh, yeah, I don't like it either. But here's the thing. How are you going to stop this? Crabgrass typically emerges later in the season. So you're not going to see so it real early in the spring. So it's a warmer season grass. Exactly. This is what we talk about, the difference between a cool season grass yep. and a warmer. So a lot of times that crabgrass gets coming about the time lilacs start to bloom. So it takes some heat units to get that to go. So if you're gonna time out applications of herbicides, I like products like Drive, for example. They work well, but you wanna get that out there just as that, that weed is starting to, to germinate and emerge. That way we can get good control of it. If we wait till the crabgrass is big, established, tillered out, good luck. Now we've actually seen the HPPDs have some activity on crabgrass and they can definitely hold that back. But, you know, I want to talk about a cultural practice real quick. If you have a great lawn, well fertilized, and you mow the grass a little bit higher, that grass by itself is going to choke out a lot of weeds, including crabgrass. So that's one of the things we would encourage you to do. In addition to that, water your lawn fairly well. And by that, we mean water it once a week, hard, and that's it. I mean, unless you have super sandy soil. That's really all you need for a lot of these heavy soils. If you're watering it every day, that's not necessarily the best use of water, and you actually could be doing more harm than good in some cases. So in lawns, in terms of weed control products that you could use or add to the mix, the two most common ones, I already mentioned Drive, the other one would be Pendimethylin. That's one that doesn't have contact activity, so you gotta put that out early. A lot of times it's done with that early fertilizer application. Okay, in terms of corn, soybeans, and wheat, crabgrass is tougher than the foxtails, definitely. So something like Dual, Harness, Surpass, Outlook, they don't work real well. You can try those to suppress the crabgrass, otherwise come post-emerge with Roundup or Liberty. And fortunately, we're talking about an annual weed here. So we get out in soybeans, like we mentioned, pendimethalin for lawns. It can be used in soybeans or trifluralin. Then come back with Roundup or Liberty post-emerge. And in wheat... Or the, any of the grass killers. Yeah, in wheat, here's where it can be a problem. But the good thing is, it's a warm season grass, so it comes up later. So we want to establish a good wheat crop early, and that alone can help fight off crabgrass. But you could use a pre, uh, you could use zidua real early, uh, right after that, that or wheat. Or prepare, and then post-emerge, our best recommendation would probably be axial, but again, have a good wheat crop and that'll choke it out. That's it for our Weed of the Week. Stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.